just just keep just everything keep static, static so I didn't really static, show the full of the picture. But maybe in this block of In my tutorial last week, I created this simple vaporwave animation and I talked about how we could expand that by using arrays to just make it look slightly more complex. And this is a bit of a follow-up tutorial or a bit of an intro into what arrays are in Cavalry. What are arrays? Arrays are index collections of data and in Cavalry we have different arrays for these different data types. So if we just hit this little plus icon here and type in array, all these different kinds of arrays will pop up. So we have asset array, color array, string array, uh, typeface, value, and value two array. So in this tutorial, we're just gonna be going over a few of these. So we have string array, which is any kind of text in Cavalry, color, which is pretty much your 101 when you create an air duplicator, a mesh is any kind of shape and asset is an image that you can drag in. So let's just have a quick look at what these arrays look like. The underlying principle of all these arrays is pretty simple. On the left we have the index number and then we have the data. In this one here we have different colors. In the asset array we have different images which I have dragged from the asset window. And the string array is just any kind of text. So don't let the .jpg confuse you there. It is just text. And if you look inside the string array here, we can see that the zero is pineapple, one is orange, and so on. So the handy thing about this is that when we create our animations, we can then use the index that comes out of our duplicator to find out which index is gonna be in our array. And you can see here, they've all just numbered right through. And just a reminder, to, to find out the index number of your duplicator, click on the little cog and draw debug information should be selected. So I've put my text shape into my duplicator and if I, I also have my array here with my different fruit. So all I have to do now is bring up my text shape and just drag that string array into the string here. And it's changed all those around. So again, you can just see where the index indexes and how that's worked there. And that's how we do the, the text. If we wanted to have a sequence of numbers, there's another way of doing it. Uh, this is one way for you. So just right click and go show in window. It's just an easy way of accessing things in the scene window. In our numbers, text box we have an input which is a string generator and for the string generator by default the padding and the precision uh, I think it's five and three so just bring those down to zero what we have here is index context so I'm just going to delete that now but I'll show you how, how we find it so if we load up our duplicator right down the bottom here we have index context so we can just drag that out and put that straight into our number and you can see the numbers on the screen will change from zero and they'll be renumbered into whatever index it is. So let's quickly create an array for our assets. I'll just put it under our image array just so it's easier. And we have our fruit and we just drag them in. Or another way of doing it is just to right click, create array from assets in asset group. Huzzah, pretty handy. If you've got a folder with a whole lot in there, you can just do that um, and you wanna bring them all in. But if you just wanna do it one by one, there's two different ways of doing it. And then what we can do here is we just click on our asset array and just drag that in. And here we have our assets brought into uh, our image shader. So if we had like a whole bunch of shapes and we wanted them to animate off using a specific filter, uh, we'd use a mesh array, have our mesh array, and then we'd create a custom shape. And then we drag our mesh array into it. 
and then we create our filter, whatever filter we want. So you could use your wipes, your Venetian blinds um, to create this transition. And I have just animated, animated that. And then when I put it into a duplicator, I've offset the time. So I'll just quickly go through this here. So now I'm just going to create my custom shape. I'll put my mesh into the input shape and I'll just change the color. And then I'm just going to put my custom shape inside here and I'm going to turn off the custom shape so it's not there. And if I go back to my custom shape, now I can put on a filter. So for this one, I'll put a radial wipe. And let's just quickly animate that. And now if we hit play, they all animate on at the same time. But if we go into our duplicator, come down to our t shape time offset and add a stagger into here, change this to negative 25, uh, this was negative 50. And if we hit play, you can see them all animated on. If we ch flip this around here, they'll all animate on starting from zero. So yeah, you might just come across an instance where you have to separate a few things out and this is one way of doing it. That's what's so great about Cavalry, that you can just start off with something simple and then introduce arrays and make it look a lot more complex than it really is. Thanks for watching.